Hello, welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about Universal 2, which is a platform tag for wheels. Uh, I wanna talk about why it's Universal 2 and what it means and, and how you might build one of those. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so I did another video on wheels. I will link that in the description. Um, but Universal 2 is a specific wheel type, uh, particularly in the platform. So you'll see like, we got a bunch of wheels here for simple JSON. I picked that package in particular because it happens to have one of these special Universal 2 wheels. And you'll notice that it fills in the spot where you would normal, normally see the processor architecture. Uh, and that's because these wheels are a very special processor architecture in that they have multiple architectures in the same wheel. Uh, if we look at this particular one, just download that wheel, and if we unzip it, uh, and then we find a shared object file in there. This is the speedups module in Simple JSON. It's how it can you know, go faster than the pure Python version. And if we use the file utility, we can look at uh, what this .so file is. Now I'm on Linux and this is particularly Mac OS wheel, so I won't be able to actually run this code. Uh, but the file utility still understands uh, you know, shared objects from different platforms. And you'll see here that this is a mock O universal binary. That's where the universal comes from. Uh, these universal binaries are a spec special packaging of the shared object file that contains code for multiple architectures. Uh, and you'll see here that it has both x86-64, you know, common Intel 64-bit, as well as ARM64, the new M1 processors, or M2, or whatever you want to call them, uh, the new ARM-based Mac processors. And basically, what this is, is it's kind of a big bundle that has the code object for Intel 64-bit and the code object for ARM64 bundled into one. So this is basically two architectures at the same time. You'll notice if we look at this file uh, that it's, uh, I guess we'll use du. See that this is about 156K. This is about double what you would see for, let's just look at the, the Intel one, for example. It's in another directory so it doesn't splat over the other one. If we do du-hs simple json slash speedups, you'll see that this one's, wow, it's even even more than double the size. Um, and that's because it basically has to bundle the 64, or the, the Intel code and the ARM code into one particular executable. Uh, but this can be more convenient. You would only have to build one package and distribute that one package and it would get used on both platforms. Uh, interestingly, simple JSON seems to build all three of them. So not only do they have the Universal 2, which bundles both of them, but they also have the Intel 64-bit and the ARM 64-bit. Uh, personally, I wouldn't bother with the Universal 2 if you already have these other two, because you're already, you're already servicing both platforms. Um, the last little thing that I want to talk about here is why is it called Universal 2? Now, uh, <laughs> some of you may remember that Mac, uh, Macs used to be PowerPC based. This was a very, very long time ago. Uh, and the first universal tag was actually a duality between PowerPC Max and 32-bit Intel Max. Uh, now I couldn't, <laughs> I, I scrubbed about half of PyPI trying to find an example of one of these wheels, and I was only able to find two packages that were labeled with the universal, the universal one. I mean, it, it wasn't universal one, it was just universal.wheel. I was only able to find two packages and both of them were mislabeled. Neither of them had PowerPC package binaries. Um, the one I did find that was kind of close and probably just a misunderstanding of what the universal tag is supposed to be, had bundled 32-bit and 64-bit into the same wheel, um, which is another thing that this, you know, uh, multiple architectures bundling can do is have two different architectures. Now, 32-bit and 64-bit Intel is pretty similar and, and a little bit more common. Uh, but, you know, the, the universal tag was supposed to represent PowerPC and Intel 32-bit at the same time. Couldn't find any real examples of it, but in theory, that's what Universal 1 was. Uh, you know, back when PowerPC was more popular, wheels weren't even really a thing. I mean, there was kind of the, the beginnings of them, but there wasn't, you couldn't upload them to PyPI and no one was really using them. Anyway, that's Universal 2. Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.